Kumusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ. I don't got really long sleeves. Why are you laughing? My <laughs> arms? They're big? They're warming you up? You've been eating, uh, <laughs> what? You've been bulking? Yeah, well, it's almost Christmas, holiday season, so we got to bulk. Marky Mark, my co-host right here with the scarves, wearing some striped. It's cold today. It's very cold. I don't know how you can survive with a t-shirt right now. I survived because I warmed myself up. Too much muscle mass, you know? Got the, got the gym. Aside from that, let's talk about... Hey, if you haven't followed us on social media, make sure you do so at Pinoy Crossover FTV. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And our full-length episodes are also on YouTube, so comment if you have a chance. We'd like to give big shout-outs. I'd like to call this segment a shout-out because we haven't shout out a big, basically, team that's going to Malaysia... You know, the director was on our show, Mike Cruz. Remember Mike Cruz? Shout out to him. Shout out to Mike the, Cruz. Uh, crossover shirt when we went to the Philippines. So. Absolutely. The nice red shirt. Very yeah. warm, very tight. But hey, their group is actually going to Malaysia. I think they're leaving. Some of them are leaving today and tomorrow. Mm-hmm. They're playing in this thing called the IHSBC, International High School Basketball Competition. The funny thing is, we actually have a jersey. Get this jersey. It's not, the ours. The it's, not, it's not ours. It's not ours, though. It, uh, shout out to uh, Bang. one of our boys that forgot his jersey. <laughs> yeah, one of, our <laughs> one of the players forgot their jersey, so we have it over here. Nice. It's nice, actually. It's nice. It's Crossover jersey. Sports Canada. Yeah. They're going to uh, basically Malaysia. Have you been to Malaysia? Let's put that. Uh, I, I haven't, but it felt it's north of the Philippines, so we've been to the Philippines, so we know how that feels, right? Here Malaysia! Shout out to a crossover team. Yep, so they've been practicing for a while, but it's, uh, they've gathered, again, some prospects or some uh, players that want to get exposure and want to play you know, in that environment. The thing is, I don't know if you have, but they're going, I guess, overseas, and they're playing there for eight days. I think it's an eight-day tournament. Long, be, it's so, not like you know, most basketball tournaments are like, what, weekends? Like, like it's just a weekend, weekend, like three yeah. days. And they're away from home. So a lot of them yeah. have high school. Stay in school, kids. Make, Make sure you sure. bring your homework. <laughs> <laughs> bring your homework. Do your homework. <laughs> yeah. um, but I guess it's going to be a good experience. I know when mm-hmm. we used to play high school tournaments, yeah. it was great. So I don't yeah, know. What would you, what would you say days. to them, I guess? What uh, would you want to tell them? Well, this is different because first things first is they have to adjust to the, to the, uh, the time because it's yep. a 12-hour difference, right? So once they get there, they got to adjust to the jet lag. Mm-hmm. So not just, you know, it's different from us when we just go from like, an hour drive tournament when we stay there for the hotel. Then they have to adjust to the time and then adjust to the culture that they're gonna be staying for a week. I know it's only a week, but you gotta get used to like how the things that they eat there. It's mm-hmm. not like, you know, here where you can just like drive through, there's like McDonald's. Yeah. Uh, there it's a different kind of food. Malaysian McDonald's. Yeah, different kind of food. <laughs> Language <laughs> no. barrier, right? Yeah. Not everyone speaks English in Malaysia. That's true. Right? Well, so. hey, hey, to those kids, enjoy your trip. Um, we'll see you when you get back. We'll get you guys on the show. Uh, but it's an exciting experience for them because they're going to face different international teams, right? They, they can see yeah, how, it's like how they basically countries. stack up. Yeah. The other thing that I'd like to shout out is basically UAP is coming to an end. It is the finals, the finals for UAP. And it's the top two teams that people obviously know and root for. You know, LaSalle, Green Archers, and we got the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Now... I don't know. We haven't seen LaSalle, but we did say Ateneo. Just, it kind of re- kind of tracks back. Remember when we went to the Philippines? How yeah. crazy was that vibe it's, in the arena and seeing those people? I've you know, never cheer. seen university games that hype. Mm-hmm. It felt like, you know, watching. Uh, I, the, the only thing I can think of watching is when you watch an NCAA game in, in you know, uh, when they do their March, March Madness. Yeah. That's how it felt to me, just because of the, the intensity and the passion of the not just the, you know the players but the audience they're so into their school that you know they they would boo like whatever team they're you know facing against they would talk trash to them they would like there's a lot of you know bands that are playing and that's you know something i can see why a lot of players would want to play in the philippines and mm-hmm. would want to play university ball there just because of how hype it is and it's the top yeah. like there's and there's an nca there's a college division yeah. but that the uap is the university um, you know, division where that's, that's the big schools, you know, representing, that's the spirit. Mm-hmm. And the top, again, like I said, the top two teams are in it. LaSalle and Ateneo, everyone knows about those two teams. It's now a do-or-die game on Sunday. 
uh, that Tenio Blue Eagles looked like they were going to be the champions, but LaSalle came back from a 21-point deficit. Wow. And LaSalle was down 21 points at two, part, two, po- at two points in the game. So, like, they were, they were down and out. Yeah. And LaSalle came back uh, orchestrated by, again, like, their big guy's named Ben Ambal. He, he scores 30 points at least per game. He's an wow. import. Yeah. But the first game, he only scored, I think, six to eight, eight, six or eight points. Mm-hmm. And he came back strong, scoring, you know, enough points to get them back. Mm-hmm. Now it's a do or die. So by Sunday, we will know who's the UAAP mm-hmm. champions. Mm-hmm. And shout out to the people who played in UAAP. And yeah. who did we meet when we were down there? We met RJ. Yeah. We yeah. met Ben, who's in that U- UST. Yeah. Um, but, it's, but again, UAAP is such an amazing thing. And if you don't know... Uh, about the UAP, make sure you search on YouTube those highlights and you'll know who the champion is.